back everyone and here, here we're fixing up a air fryer now I wouldn't fix an air fryer because they're so cheap normally but this one this one's a dearer one it was made in Australia and well might have been made in Australia but designed in Australia at least and to test you need to put your meter across the coil now it should read around about 40 40 something um, ohms across it 45 the other one the old one which is the reading on my multimeter 45.3 now on the old one which is over here that's busted and the way you work it out is just ohms law checking what the resistance is 240 volts and dividing it by what wattage your oven is if I put that across there, 32 ohms, way too low. It's almost like a short to it, so it heats up and then it's shorted out. Went on for a little bit, so yeah, you need to replace it. Now, I did this a couple of weeks ago to wait for the part. Now I've got to try and put it back together again, and it's going to be fun. You've got to watch out for these boots. They're, um, I think they're a heat resistant boot. So when you put them in, you're going to have to put them down through here. Hook it up underneath here the bottom bit and we'll go from there so these two are threaded so it comes with a spring you probably notice the difference in the color the color is a little bit hot so we find a second end, secondary one of those and we'll be fine to screw it in I'm having problems trying to find that probably going to be this one here and i'll put a little spring washer on it maybe I might leave it off probably won't I'll probably put it on and make sure you've got a magnetic screwdriver when you're doing it okay, those two are in making sure that you've got that clipped on right between the two and then you've got to get another one of those screws which is probably this one here that's brassy looking that'll go in there and I'll just get a spring for it and we'll screw it in and Bob's your uncle. Resistance climb because we've got these in here and it's widened it out to 45.5, which is even better. Anyone can tell me or leave in the comments where I can find these boots. Okay, you've got that. That popped off the connector. A pair of pointy nose pliers so that it won't come off the actual connector. Once you've tightened that, make sure both are tight and you don't want them falling off while they're vibrating. Give it a bit of a pull and check it check that they're still intact that one's a little bit broken the boot so that's why i'm asking for help for that now making sure that these are turned that way so you can see the warnings for your wife of course this is all for the wife it's not for me um, there's a temperature probe here that needs to go in that hole and that should just go down like that just like that and all you have to do is put the three screws in to lock it down and from there we just had to put the other fan back on here and I think by recollection this goes over the top of it like that put the fan on I found it in the bottom so if you found, found that in the bottom it goes on there like that it screws a bit tricky if it feels loose pull it out and adjust and the third screw should be lined up pretty much after you get the two screws in make sure that's still loose and put the other screw in but that seems to be right so yeah I just showed you the wrong way and then I put it on the right way make sure your fans aren't gonna your fan blades I mean make sure your fan blades don't um, rub on the metal and then all you have to do is fit your plate on top this is the what model is this this is a easy cook so 737 quite a large device compared to your average and this model it's got a piece of metal sting sitting out you need to position that on that square bit okay so that's definitely the the resistance around about 45.2 to 45.5 is your resistance you want off one of these cookers and now I am now cooking myself some potatoes and it's not shorting out my house. 
like it used to. You can see the heat element is working fine. That's about it for this one. Hope I'll catch you on the next one.